Okay, welcome to today's tutorial on making pivot tables in Excel. The first thing we're going to do after we've opened up the housing workbook is go to the homes sheet and we're going to select cells A3 all the way down through J54 and then to make a pivot table just like with making charts we're going to go into the insert tab in the ribbon and we're going to select the pivot table button we're going to make sure that the new worksheet radio button is filled in in our pop-up here and we're going to select the OK button we're going to rename this sheet to homes pivot table and again to do that you just right click over the tab for the worksheet and you click rename and then for this pivot table we're going to add the 1970 plus top 10 state to the filters field so all of these are fields so we're going to click and drag this over to the filters field and then we're going to add the region to the rows field and the state immediately after it so so far your pivot table should look like this then we're going to add each one of these decade blocks over to the values field just one after another like that and that's how you make a pivot table in Excel so we're going to make a new pivot table using the same cell range which is A3 through J54 of the home sheet so we're going to uh, either reselect this if you uh, accidentally clicked away from it or just go up to the insert tab and make a new pivot table on a new worksheet just like we did before and then we're going to add the 2010 data to the rows and state to the values and we're going to rename this sheet right here to 2010 homes pivot table 2010 homes pivot table and then we are going to do something called grouping so right now this is a really long list of values and we can actually do a little bit of formatting to that so we're going to group it into sets of 1 million starting at 0 so the way we do that is we hover over where this row labels uh, column header is until it, that cursor turns into a black down arrow and we're going to select all of these guys here and we're going to right click over the data and do group we're going to start it at zero and we're going to group them in sets of one million so just make sure that you have the appropriate number of zeros which we do and we're going to say OK. And the states are summarized by counting. If they aren't, the way that you would adjust that is going to one of these uh, field uh, values right here. And you're going to click on that drop down arrow. You're going to go to the field uh, value field settings and you would be able to change how you summarize the fields right here by clicking on one of these options and you would be able to change the number format as well so the instructions don't specify to do any of that so we're going to leave it as is
For step five, we're going to create a pivot chart and a pivot table. So we're going to go to the total value sheet and we're going to select cells A3 through K54. And we're going to go up to the insert tab. Now, this time, we're going to head over to where it says pivot chart and we're going to click on this drop down and we're going to get a pivot chart and a pivot table. So we're going to put this on a new worksheet and we're going to say okay. So what we're going to do for the pivot table is we're going to add the region in the rows field. So we're going to drag region over to rows. And 1970, 1990, and 2010 are going to be in the values field. And as you can see, as we update the pivot table, we also update the pivot chart. So we also need to do a little bit of formatting to this. So we're going to format the 1970, 1990, and 2010 columns as currency with no decimal places. So we're going to select the dropdown over here in the values. We're going to go to value field settings, number format, currency, and zero decimal places for all of these. So we're going to make sure that it's that way for every single one of those columns. And then we're just going to move this chart to a new sheet by right clicking on it and selecting move chart. We're going to put it on a new sheet and we're going to call that sheet total values pivot chart. And we're going to rename that sheet three that we had before. Total values pivot table for the chart. We're just going to head over to that and add a couple of axis titles and a chart title. So for the chart, we can just call this one total values by region. And for this uh, vertical axis, I'm going to call it value in dollars. And for the horizontal axis, I'm going to call this one region. So this is what a 2D clustered column chart looks like. So that's it for the for step six. We're going to show you how to update the pivot table data. So we're going to head over to the home sheet and we're going to change C8 to 0. And now when we go over to the homes pivot table, if we go to the pivot table tools at the top, 
and we hit the Analyze tab right there. If we click on this Refresh, we'll get Refresh All, and that'll refresh uh, the view. If we've modified any data, the changes will be reflected now. So I'm going to just undo the uh, data value change that we made, and then we would just refresh it again, and that's it for that step. So just answer the analysis question starting in row two of the analysis question sheet. And that's it.